welcome back to my channel so as you can see we are in my bedroom today's video is going to focus just on this room as you can see I have quite a bit to get through I want to do some dusting of my ceiling fan I also want to dust this vent as you can see that looks really bad did you drop your toy let me get it for you here you go baby don't drop it <laughs> yes mommy says don't drop that I have Jacob with me today I wanted to start cleaning early so this is why he is not in his nap time mommy is gonna have to put that on a passy clip for you all right now I also need to go through his bassinet which has basically become another hamper to clean today I am just going to be using the Mrs. Myers multi-purpose multi-surface everyday cleaner in the lemon verbena scent I am not a huge fan of lemon but hopefully this isn't too strong this is the only cleaner I could find at Walmart the other day it was just this one and two other bottles of the same thing my dusting my Swiffer dusters to dust with and then a few clean towels to use with the spray. Did you drop it again? Did you? Say yes, Mama, I dropped it again. Here, baby. Hold that, okay? Okie dokie, bug boo boo. Want your giraffe? So I'm going to go ahead and start by putting Jacob's little trumpet toy onto a passy clip. If I don't do this, I know that he's going to be dropping it every five seconds. I'm going to keep picking it up. After that, I'm going to go ahead and start making my bed. Now, as you can see, my fitted sheet does not fit the mattress completely. And this is something that does annoy me. And I have been meaning to look online to see if I think it's called a deep pocket sheet I think that's what it's called I've been meaning to go on Amazon and look for a deep pocket sheet to better fit this mattress but I just keep putting it off now after I am done making the bed I'm gonna go ahead and stop my fan and go ahead and dust it and I just wanted to show you guys all the dust that has collected along the rim of each fan blade I honestly have never cleaned this um, this fan before so this is the first time I'm going to do it and I'm hoping that I do not have a lot of dust falling onto the bed. And I am happy to report that very little dust fell off. Those Swiffer Sweeper or the Swiffer Dusters, I should say, are really, really good. And I'm going to go ahead and take the second one and take care of my window blinds as well. Another area that I never dust is this canvas picture of the Eiffel Tower and I also never dust my wall sconces. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you an up close of these wall sconces. These are battery operated and I got them off of Amazon. I really like them. I think that they add a cute little touch to the bedroom and if you guys are interested in looking at these, I'll go ahead and put them in the description box below. But right now, I'm going to go ahead, as you can see, play with Jacob. He was getting a little fussy in his extra saucer bouncer chair and of course I don't want to ignore him so I went ahead and I took him out and we're just going to play together for a few minutes. If you guys are curious, Jacob is 10 months old. He turned 10 months this month on the 18th and as you can see he is very active. I don't know why but he just wants to make a beeline for the edge of the bed but yes, the last couple of weeks his just motor skills have improved tenfold. He is standing up quickly without any issue. He's starting to walk using his little walker and he's pulling himself up on everything. He is just going to be such a strong little man. Now I'm going to go ahead and tackle my dresser and if you guys have not seen my most previous video, I did a review of the Owlet Sock 
too. I'll go ahead and link that down below in the description box if you're interested in checking that out. If you do not know what the outlet is or if you are not sure about getting one for your little one, I highly recommend checking out my video and I highly recommend buying one. Most everything that is sitting on my dresser belongs either in the closet or in my side table drawer. So I went ahead and I removed everything that is not going to be staying on the dresser. And I'm just going to use my Mrs. Meyers all purpose, or I'm sorry, all surface cleaner to go ahead and clean off the dresser. So in a second, you'll see that I'm being a little bit lazy and I'm going to go ahead and try and use the Mrs. Myers to clean the mirror and that did not work at all. So I went over to the bathroom and got my pledge and you guys will notice that I am kind of scratching at something on the mirror. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll show you a close up in a few seconds of it looks like a little bit of a film or a grime that is stuck on the glass. I'm not sure how that how that got on there. But my husband did paint this dresser when he moved into this house a couple years ago. So maybe something got on the, on the mirror. But anywho, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to get rid of that later on. I'm just going to go ahead and finish wiping down all of the dresser drawers before I move on to the window and wipe down the windowsill as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and tackle Jacob's bassinet. Jacob no longer uses this bassinet. He hasn't used this bassinet in, I would say, four months. And unfortunately, it has become kind of like a second hamper to me. So I'm going to go ahead and take all the clothing out of here and clean it up, put everything back where it belongs, and also vacuum underneath because you'll see later, underneath this bassinet, there is a ton of dog hair that collected a lot of shoes, as well as a basket full of sweaters that obviously I'm not wearing right now because it is summer. Now, while I'm taking care of the bassinet, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today and cleaning along with me. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video, which is at least twice a week. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much once again for coming back and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and move Jacob's bassinet out of the way and as you can see there are quite a few things that have collected underneath here. Two things that have collected is this Lula pad which is a vibrating mattress, um, mattress pillow pad thing that goes underneath as well as this snoozy pod or snoozy pad. I can't remember the name of it. I'll show you in a second. But this was something that we also used underneath Jacob's uh, mattress in the bassinet to keep it vibrating to help him sleep longer. I'll go ahead and link those two down below in the description box if you guys are interested in looking at that. But right now, Jacob uses the Tranquilo Pad and he's been using the Tranquilo Pad ever since we moved him up to his, um, his crib four months ago. And I highly, highly recommend the Tranquilo Pad. If you guys can get the Tranquilo Pad, definitely buy it and use it from day one. I love the Tranquilo Pad. It helps Jacob sleep wonderfully through the night. 
and it is a little pricey I would say I think if you buy it online it ranges between $79 and $109 but I got really lucky and I found mine at Marshall's on clearance for $30 but like I said I highly recommend buying one if you don't want to buy the more expensive Tranquilo pad, definitely look into the two that I'm going to link down below as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum my husband's side of the bedroom as well as folding up his clothing. Just to let you know, if you guys notice how torn up my husband's jeans are, these are not his going out to the store like everyday jeans. These are his work jeans. That is why they are really torn up. My husband has a very physically demanding job and so he is supposed to have uniform jeans, um, but sometimes of course, you know, you'll forget to wash them or he'll leave them at work. So he will wear his own jeans from home and then those end up getting destroyed. So anywho, that is why some of them are really torn up. I'm going to go ahead and finish up vacuuming and I also need a vacuum behind the door. That is another area that I tend to forget to vacuum when I do clean in the bedroom. After I vacuum, I'm going to go ahead and get my Swiffer wet jet mop and mop the room as well. So I should have checked before I came into the room, but I am completely out of my floor cleaner. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the Mrs. Myers all purpose, I'm sorry, all surface cleaner on the floor. Now this is probably not meant to be used on the floor, but the floor is a surface. So I went ahead and I used it and it turned out just fine and the floor was squeaky clean. Now I just need to go ahead and clear off the bed of everything that I moved off of the dresser and put everything back where it belongs. I am going to go ahead and take some of these baskets into the kitchen. I do want to hang up those two photographs that are on the bed. I do want to hang that up on the wall by my nightstand, but I'm going to wait until probably tomorrow because Jacob is napping right now and I don't want to wake him up. And I'm also trying out this little pet hair remover on the side of my bed. When the dogs used to come into the bedroom, they would rub up against my side of the bed. So the whole side of my bed is covered in dog hair. Luckily, you cannot see it on the camera. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and move some excess things from the top of my nightstand into the drawers and as you can see it is really hard to close this is a really old dresser i mean really old side table and it does not have wheels in it it's just solid wood so sometimes when i open it it gets stuck the last thing i need to do is just wipe down both my side table and my husband's side table. I have a couple of extra things on the dresser that you need to move out of the room and then I'll be finished.
right guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys stayed with me all the way until the end and i hope this video gave you guys some good cleaning motivation and you cleaned along with me if you guys are not yet subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time i upload a new video which is at least twice a week and if you are returning subscribers thank you so so much for coming back and watching my videos every week i truly appreciate it now, as you guys can see, I still have some stuff here in Jacob's bassinet. All that stuff is going to be going upstairs into his room, but he is napping right now, so I definitely do not want to go in there and wake him up, but all that will be put away in a little bit as soon as he wakes up. But anywho, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in a couple of days in a new video. Bye!